Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a four different thrift stores that I frequent, two of which I frequent more often because they're a lot better. The other two, I'm really not going in very often because they are very, very weak now on anything that they get. They've, they've eliminated quite a bit, but, uh, video is going to hopefully I don't take too long on this video because this is actually going to be a bigger haul so uh, try to speed through it a little bit the first one here is the lawnmower man collection and the lawnmower man 2 Jacob so uh, nice to have uh, both of them now I do believe they were all on one disc yeah Little disc. Uh, I've kind of set this up in a little bit of a grouping, so there'll be some similarities to things. Uh, this here is uh, like right now I'm starting with everything that's like kind of comboed. Uh, double feature, the Burbs and the Money Pit. They're really, uh, these two are really good. I love the burbs. Money Pit's hysterical too. And this is two discs. So I was very happy about that. And next one here. I've been really collecting these four movie marathon ones now. So I've got a pretty good little collection of these things going. Uh, this one has Pure Luck, King Ralph, Ghost Dad, and for richer, for poorer. These are uh, pretty nice little uh, sets. I kind of just went through and grabbed anything else I had in my collection that I had on any of these and moved them out unless there's something really important. But none of them really had anything that I was worried about that much. Uh, this here is a full-length screener. So I did find some screening copies in, in this uh, thrift store. Uh, but it just seemed really interesting on this one. Uh, Skelling, the Owl Man. And what was this? This was a combo one. Yeah, this is a combo one. And also five a day, which is what we had. So that's... The five a day that we all picked up at uh, Dollar Tree on Blu-ray, and then the Owl Man, which I have not seen, but looked pretty interesting. Let's see the, uh, the disc. This is how a lot of the promotional stuff uh, came. I mean, not necessarily doubled like this, but uh, with all the information on uh, selling points and what it grossed to the box office. Just to uh, let the buyer know how much to buy. Um, we got two more screeners here. Just looked pretty good. Uh, like I said, these came in a different package. Uh, Casa de los Babies. This is in a little skinny little case. Would you see all the uh, information? How much DVD and VHS cost. And that was their uh, purchase. Let's see, DVDs were $20 and VHS were $30. It's a big difference. Put the inside of that. One more screener that I know of here. And uh, Don Cheadle, Maniac. Uh, I mean, all depending on how these screeners are done, normally they have uh, at the bottom of the screen either the whole time it pop up every so often. It'll say if you've rented or purchased this movie, call this number. Um, 
Some of them actually scroll through the whole film at certain points. It gets annoying, but after a while, you get used to it. The, the worst one that uh, I've seen were uh, Disney uh, on theirs. They would go ahead and do that, but they would also, at certain points, the movie would go from color to black and white. So they were really pushing not uh, people bootlegging off of these screeners. But uh, when you were getting them for free, where when I worked at the distributor, I mean, it was a nice thing to have to watch the movie, not have to pay for it. Like I said, some of them, after a while, you, you do uh, get adjusted to not seeing it. And it all just depends on how harsh they are, like Disney with the black and white conversion. Um, these are the couple snapper cases that I got. Um, this film here, I've never seen, but I've been wanting to see it. And this is Judgment Night. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. It was on Good Times. <laughs> then I have... Uh, John Travolta in Michael. I do believe I've, I have seen this one before, like about the time it came out. Uh, this one I love. This movie I have this on laserdisc is uh, Michael Douglas in Falling Down. Uh, this is just a fantastic film here. And the last snapper case one I have is uh, Denzel Washington, and John Goodman, and Fallen. This is another one I have on Laserdisc. It's another really good film. Uh, God, I was going to start over here on this side a little bit. Uh, I did get one CD, uh, which I had a copy of, and now I've got the original is uh, the Brian Setzer Orchestra, The Dirty Boogie. Uh, if anybody knows who Brian Setzer is, he was also in The Stray Cats. So you get a lot of that rockabilly. Uh, this is really uh, good stuff. I have actually found another copy of this uh, recently while I was out hunting. Um, this one here is in a DVD case. Sometimes they do this. Uh, this is... A Seinfeld on DVD exclusive bonus DVD, which is the trailer and Life Before Seinfeld featurette. So that was a uh, reason I got it, just for the little bonus stuff. Uh, then uh, here I'm going to, I've got uh, anything I have, uh, not everything, but. In this grouping is stuff with uh, slip sleeves that I found. Uh, this is a Blu-ray DVD with digital copy, and the code still worked. And that is One Direction This Is Us. It's a nice looking case. I mean, a slip on there. Uh, shiny. Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side. Haven't ever seen this one. Kind of nice to see. Uh, this one I was happy to find. I comboed this one out now because I already had the DVD. Uh, and now I actually have all three uh, films in this series on Blu-ray. So I'm happy about that. And that is Inferno. I was glad to find that with the slip. And this is a sequel, which I'm glad I have the, the original already, and that is Dolphin Tale 2. So I have to make a little double feature night and watch both of these together. And I grabbed uh, Special Edition Pride and Prejudice, the A&E. Colin Firth. So you get a double.
down. Got a Masters of Horror John from John Landis, and that is Family. George Went, Meredith Monroe, Matt Kelsler. Oh, Meredith Monroe, not Marilyn, Ma Meredith. Uh, I did watch this one since I've picked this up. Uh, this was actually really pretty good. I actually enjoyed this a lot. This is uh, from Anchor Bay. Uh, technically, he's a neighbor, and these other two people come in, and he kind of peeps Tom with a beautiful day in suburbia. Uh, happily at work in his basement, building the perfect family. But when a young couple moves in next door, Harold sets his sights on the sexy young wife. In a sunshine world of picket fences and manicured lawns, is it ever possible to know what gruesome plans are percolating in the minds of your neighbors? Uh, this was really, really fun to watch. This I, I enjoyed this a lot. It was something I would uh, definitely upgrade if I uh, ever find that. Uh, two disc edition Dragon Dynasty. Another little collection we're working on. Uh, mostly uh, what I find at uh, Dollar Tree on on these, but uh, this is another one, and that is John Woo film Hard Boiled, which is something I still had never seen. So I'm kind of glad to have that. Uh, this one. Uh, I recently got it on DVD, I mean, uh, on Blu-ray, but uh, I like the slip on this, and for the two bucks I paid, it was, it was worth it. It's a two-disc special edition, and that is Poseidon. I've just got to work on getting that sticker off the front and then cleaning it off, but uh, I like the slip on that. It's a real nice slip the regular cover I did find a few of uh, these uh, lenticulars throughout uh, Denzel Washington Clive Owen Jody Foster inside man I'm not really sure if I've actually seen this one yet or not but, uh, for that uh, anybody on Instagram has seen that I had went to Bucky's like uh, a week ago, uh, just because uh, I saw uh, Cinema Sickness had went, and I had no idea that they even put one in. So if I'd known that sooner, I'd have been there sooner. Uh, place is awesome. Uh, food's great. Uh, I'm looking forward. I might be going back there today. So buy extra uh, food, bring it home. I have it for a week. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out, they are supposedly the largest uh, fueling station. No truckers allowed. Cleanest bathrooms and whatnot. But uh, yeah, let's check them out. Uh, the other one here is Conan the Barbarian. And this is with... Uh, da, 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 where was it? Forgot what his name was. Uh, Jason Momoa as Conan. So I'm kind of really looking forward to watching this. I did see the trailer. It looked really good. Another one here, which I already have on uh, DVD. I, I keep saying DVD. This is Blu-ray. And that is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This is really good classic. I always love it when the uh, they finally get there and they're communicating with the ship and you hear the, the music. Uh, or the fact Richard Dreyfuss is playing with his mashed potatoes. That's uh, always a great scene. A little homage to that was in uh, the IT crowd where he was playing with mashed potatoes doing something. Another classic here is Sylvester Stallone in Rocky, a two-disc collection. Nice to get these two-disc collections. Another one here. I'm really looking forward to this. This is something uh, 
right up uh, Platix's uh, alley here for at least the black and white uh, aspect uh black and white 126 where is the date 1947 so we got your your black and white air and that is uh they sold their souls for the treasure of the sierra madre starring humphrey bogart now i can't remember if i actually watched this one yet because i did watch another black and white around the same time so i picked this up but I think uh, it was the other one. Yeah, the other one I watched was, I uh, can't remember the name. But it had uh, Dean Martin and uh, John Wayne and uh, Ricky uh, Martin. Rick, right? I think it was Ricky Martin. Uh, I can't remember the other guy. He was younger. Uh, okay, some more. Uh, this is a, a bonus disc. I like finding these bonus discs that uh, were attached to these uh, packages. Just to have them. And this is a definitive behind-the-scenes look into Jurassic Park. Beyond Jurassic Park. Special features, Jurassic Park. The Lost World, Jurassic Park, and Jurassic Park 3. These always pique my interest as just uh, more of a collectible. And just in case they don't put any of this bonus material on uh, anything else. And uh, a little bit of artwork on the disc. Uh, this was a quite interesting one here, is uh, Video Catnip, Entertainment for Cats. The original Video Catnip plus 90 minutes of extra footage. Very cheesy uh, cover. Something that uh, anybody could have probably made at home. But it, uh, I popped it in and watched a little bit with the cat. Uh, a little artwork on the disc, not too bad. But uh, it's basically just like squirrels and birds, just to get the cat to look at it. And uh, comedy one here, I haven't uh, heard of this guy in a while, is Yakov Smirnov. And famous Russian comedian. I bet you never looked at it that way. Um, guessing this was uh, probably sold at his shows or through his website because there's no barcodes on it. And... The next comedian one I found was another one I didn't have, and that is the Jeff Dunham's Very Special Christmas Special. So that moves us into uh, some of the Christmas titles that I found. And that is a double feature, uh, Jack Frost. And the main reason I grabbed this one is for National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2 which I wasn't aware of at the time that they made a sequel. Uh, supposedly it's not as nearly as good as the first, but and it's got Randy Quaid, or is that Dennis? That's not Dennis, that's, that's Randy. Uh, Randy, Randy. Um, well, I was curious to uh, checking that out. And since I found it uh, a lot cheaper than I found it at one of the other stores, uh, where did I see this? Like Dollar Dollar General had it. So the frost is on a flipper, and then we got a nice one there. I'm trying to find some good artwork so I can uh, separate those. And uh, one of my favorites. Uh, need to order this off the of Disney uh, site since they now own Fox. But glad to at least have... I do have this on Laserdisc anyway, so now I have a DVD. 
in a nice little red case. And that is Schwarzenegger Jingle All the Way. This is always a really good one. One of those uh, real good holiday ones to watch that are fun. Another holiday one here. Two discs, James Stewart, Donna Reed. It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, includes brand new color and restored black and white versions. So I'm actually quite interested in watching that actually in both versions. Like I did that with uh, Jack Snyder's uh, Justice League. I watched it in color and then I watched it in black and white on my own. Uh, did enjoy both versions. Nothing on the disc fancy or nothing. Last Christmassy one here is a Bad Mom's Christmas on Blu-ray. Do believe I have uh, another one of these Bad Moms. Uh, this one here was still sealed and very disappointing. I was really wanting to uh, kind of watch this. Uh, that is Ancient Egypt, uh, King Tut Secrets Revealed. Um, number 19 in the catalog series. Uh, I'm assuming this came from the History Channel, since they have the logo on it. A little book style. I got some pages in it. So it's kind of interesting. But when I opened it, it says, Enjoy your free preview. Which I don't think I even noticed when I first opened it until I took the disc out. And underneath, save this space for your full length feature film. So I'll end up watching what I can watch off of that and decide if I'm going to let that go. Because uh, I don't really care for a, a little sample like that when I was hoping to get the whole thing. A uh, couple documentaries here. I found all all three of these were all still brand new sealed. So I figured I'd go ahead and get them. And this is uh, PBS's DVD Gold. New York, a documentary film. The Center of the World, episode 8, 1946 to 2003. So it's, it's kind of weird that sometimes this thrift store gets a lot of stuff that's themed together. And I can... Uh, find quite a bit and this is a uh, National Geographic's commemorative edition of Inside 9-11 I think this was a uh, yeah this one was a two disc set well, that was nice and the other one another history channel one here and that is September 11th Memorial Edition. So, I pick up quite a bit of a little 9-11 uh, stuff here to watch. Another two-disc edition. Uh, this one here I do still have. Uh, I found before at... I believe I found it at uh, Goodwill. And that was a D DVD CD combo. Now I found the Blu ray DVD CD combo. And that is a Walmart one. Um, if anybody knows anything about these that were actually print, the, the, the package is printed with Walmart on it. I'm really kind of curious about what they are because I have another DVD that was uh, like this as well. But this one I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching because it's science fiction. And that is called the Jensen Project. You see how the uh, sleeve is uh, printed with Walmart on it. Even on the spine, it's got the little Walmart logo. But uh, can't remember this uh, guy's name. Uh, I'm not even sure which name this is. Uh, 
I'm guessing maybe David Andrews? No, I don't know. But uh, he was from Star Trek. But uh, nice. Uh, I mean, for being a Walmart title, I mean, they at least put different artwork on all the discs. So you got the soundtrack, the uh, DVD, and the Blu ray. And the soundtrack is by Randy Jackson. Another film here, uh, might be pretty good, is called Nine. And this is not the animated uh, Nine. But uh, got a pretty good cast here. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, Marion Collard, Penelope Cruz, Judy Dench, Fergie, Kate Hudson, Nicole Kidman, and Sophie Loren. Pretty decent. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Nice one here. I have not seen this yet either. Johnny Depp in there. Kenneth Brown, William Defoe, Judy Dench, uh, Penelope Cruz, Josh Gad, uh, Leslie Odom Jr., Michelle Pfeiffer, Daisy Riddle. Uh, this one here. I thought I had this. I think I've seen it around a few times, but it was... Uh, might have been on DVD and are scratched up. I can't remember. And that is The Intern with uh, Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. Over here, uh, we have a Jeff Bridges, Sam Watterson, and Elizabeth Ashley in Rancho Deluxe. Kind of interesting. Uh, this one here, I love this movie. I was glad to find this. Uh, you'd eventually probably pick this up on Blu-ray if, if need be. And that is Batteries Not Included. Uh, this is one of these movies uh, my mom enjoyed as well. So, there's certain movies I'll be watching and remembering her about. Like this, Short Circuit, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Those were her uh, favorites. We got uh, Martin Lawrence and Steve Zahn, National Security. This here ended up being a screener. I didn't even, right? Yeah, screening copy. This was still sealed. I didn't even realize it was a screener at first. But uh, as uh, Scott Wolf, uh, Tim Roth, and uh, it was kind of my thing. But it sounds interesting. It, uh, Detective Emmett Young, Scott Wolf, is determined to rid Philadelphia of a psych psychotic serial killer when he discovers he has a painful terminal disease. When an ex-cop convinces Young that putting a hit on himself is the best way to go. The race is on to stop the body count before his time is up. This film will grab hold and take you on a thrill ride right up to the explosive finale. But uh, that sounds really pretty good. He's trying to stop somebody from killing, and then he puts a hit out on himself trying to beat the clock. Uh, I did enjoy uh, Scott Wolf when I uh, started watching Party of Five back, back when. Another one here, uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Minority Report. Then I have two disc widescreen special edition 
Alexander Director's Cut. So I'm guessing this might be different than the other uh, Alexander. I think the other one has a little bit more in the title. But uh, nice uh, artwork. Another one here. My stepdaughter's watch. She loved this, uh, so I'm looking forward to watching this. This was actually brand new sealed, and that memoirs of a geisha, two disc edition. Uh, Patricia Heaton, Jeff Daniels, and Neil Simon's The Goodbye Girl. They've remade this film a couple of times. But uh, I like Jeff Daniels and I like uh, Patricia from uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, the Exorcist Extended Director's Cut. Passengers. I uh, believe I have this on Blu-ray, so I, I need. Uh, I think this was one I've got a combo out. And this one, this is fantastic. I mean, I have the steel book on uh, Blu-ray of this. This is definitely one of my favorite magnet titles. Uh, Tyler Labine. Alan Tudyk and Katrina Bowden in Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Evil just messed with the wrong hillbillies. This is such a good uh, magnet title. I mean, that was before I even started buying magnet titles. Uh, I'd seen this, then found the uh, Blu ray on a steel book and had to get it. Little artwork on, but uh, since I try to collect uh, Blu-rays and DVDs of Magnet Magnolia stuff, uh, I needed the DVD on my collection. I have uh, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, and Sisters unrated. Uh, this one here I'm really interested in watching. This is a classic here. It's a Dustin Hoffman in Straw Dogs, unrated version. I'm always surprised at stuff that I find that people have uh, gotten rid of. You know, this is supposed to be a really good film. Over there. Basic, a little bit of our work at least. Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, just go with it. Uh, here, uh, IFC title here, wordplay. Fifty million people do it every week. Uh, Will Shorts, Bill Clinton, John Stewart, Bob Dole, Mike Lucina. This is a, I think it was a documentary. Uh, uh, Wordplay is a journey into the world of Will Shorts, the crossword puzzle editor of the New York Times, known to millions as National Public Radio's Puzzle Master. Shorts has spent his entire lifetime studying, creating, and editing puzzles and has built a huge following along the way. Meet Short's diehard fans, including President Bill Clinton, Senator Bob Dole, The Daily Show's Jon Stewart, filmmaker Ken Burns, and uh, the Indio, Indigo Girls, and Yankee ace pitcher Mike Mussina, and discover why over 50 million Americans do crosswords every week. 
That was, uh, should be something really good to watch there, something interesting. Nice uh, sci-fi one here, Charlton Heston, Lee Taylor Young, Soylent Green. It's the year 2022, that's next year. Uh, people are still the same. They'll do anything to get what they need, and they need Soylent Green. So I guess we need to get Soylent Green next year. So uh, there's a landmark screen science fiction, a riveting entertainment and cautionary tale that holds a mirror to a tomorrow life with ecological disaster. Working well again in the futuristic genre following Planet of the Apes and the Omega Man, Action Titan Charlton Heston portrays Thorn, a detective prowling the dark streets of polluted, overpopulated Big Apple gone rotten in 2022. He's tailing a murder, and the trail leads to a stunning, dis a stunning discovery. Vividly realized, Soylent Green's world gains its power not just from its special efforts, but from its heart. A human dimension magnified by the performance of legendary Edward G. Robinson in the moving screen Farewell. So this is something I had uh, actually been interested in watching for a while. Nice uh, artwork there on the discs. And to follow up, Another Charlton Heston, The Omega Man, which was listed on that one. Found both of these the same day in the same store. Biological war is determined life on Earth. Oh, he almost looks like Sean Connery in that, uh, Image. Now, let's see. Let do something nice on that. Example. Looks like the cover. The military one. Gregory Peck as MacArthur. Another one that has been remade, which I have not seen the remake. I like this original. That is Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell in Overboard. There. Yeah, Andy Garcia, Oscar Isaac, Catalina Sandino Moreno. Uh, Santiago, uh, Gabri, I can't even pronounce that, Eva Longoria and Peter O'Toole, and For Greater Glory, the true story of Chris, Tiada, Cristiada, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, uh, For the Greater Glory, make it simple, old western. Uh, no, uh, horror film here from Anchor Bay, uh, Masters of Horror, and that is Jennifer. Look pretty interesting. Lots of special features. I think this might be the one. Yeah, this one actually came. Well, here's. I like the simplicity of the cover there. But it came with a trading card. Dario Argento. <laughs> and this is number 8 of 13. So I'm assuming that they had done these and had released 13 films and each one was uh, giving you a trading card. But I think this is the only one that I found that had a trading card in it. So, so 
something to look out for. Another Kerb Russell here. Uh, Jared Grant, Frank McRae, Deborah Harmon, and Jack Warden. Used cars. This one here, this, uh, when I looked this up, this didn't get really good reviews, but uh, I think this was still sealed when I got it, but uh, it's a John Ritter, and that's uh, the main reason I grabbed it, and I'd never heard of this. It's called Man of Miracles, a story about heroes and the miracles that are all around us. Uh, in the sleepy town of Vine Creek, preacher and volunteer fireman Joe Cass, John Ritter, wakes up to realize his family and community are at a breaking point. Joe decides to take control of his life and must prove his bravery when he is called to save a child trapped inside a burning building. Lost inside the inferno, a mysterious fireman helps them to safety and quickly disappears. As Joe waits for the mystery fireman to come forward, rumors circulate throughout Vine Creek that apparent uh, apparition was an angel sent from above. Man of Miracle is a heartfelt family drama of a man struggling to maintain his faith and save his family. That's pretty good. Kind of like uh, right here in the white. This DVD disc is formatted for Region 1. Made sure we knew what region that one was in. This is uh, 1989. Guaranteed superior quality. Uh, what is it? 95 minutes. Good. And this is uh, another screening copy. These screening copies were like sneaking in on me. Wasn't catching them. So uh, this one was also silver sealed. Why I kind of grabbed this. Uh, Eddie K. Thomas, Maggie Lawson, Milo Ventimiglia. Better than warm apple pie. Winter break. Uh, groundbreaking internet campaign targeted to reach over 3 million hub influencers in the Gen Y and Gen X marketplace, creating unprecedented Tended consumer awareness for a direct video title. That's kind of stuff, uh, information that they put on the back. Let's see. And we have, uh, I guess it's called a tell, ATL. Not too sure, but uh, found this one at uh, one of my favorite ones here. Uh, this one here, I had to print the cover. I actually had gotten the uh, DVD brand new, but I found the Blu-ray. It was stuck in with another film that I was picking up because sometimes they end up putting two discs in a case that only is supposed to have one. So that's good for me. So at least now I have a Blu-ray version of this disc. And that is Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Trader. So now I've got a Blu-ray copy of it. To kind of go with the rest. A Dog's Purpose. I mean, I've, I've heard uh, some negative stuff about this, but I haven't watched it yet. So. We'll see how that is. Uh, this one I already had, uh, but I swapped it now. Uh, it was also on Blu-ray. But uh, this is uh, a Kino Lorber release, so uh, I figured I'd just switch it and do a Kino title. And that is Gross Anatomy. A 
did not mind switching that up. Getting close, getting close. Got two more healthy stacks here. Uh, this here is going to start off some of the animation stuff, and that is uh, X-Men Evolution. Unexpected changes in the snapper. Three thrilling episodes from season one. I've got to try to do a little bit better job. This is kind of really nasty. This person had put um, you know, the address labels that you would buy with your name and address on it. This is what they have been putting on the back of these. So they know who owns it. But unfortunately, it stuck really well and tearing that up a bit. Nothing uh, too fancy. Three episodes. Uh, Justice League, The Brave and the Bold, uh, Volume 4. That is uh, four episodes, uh, two two-parters, uh, which is The Brave and the Bold, Part 1 and 2, and Injustice for All, Part 1 and 2. And this all seemed to kind of look the same for these Brave and the Bolds, I think. Uh, I was talking about before, these uh, lenticulars. Now, I already have this in the two-disc edition, but uh, take this single-disc edition just for this lenticular, and that is Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. These are always really nice to kind of grab. The regular... Just to keep building up that collection with the DC stuff. Uh, now this one I picked up because of the cast and I have watched it and it was a very rough watch. Uh, children might enjoy it more but I did not and it was all just the cast doing the voices is why I grabbed it. I, and it was still sealed I do believe. I can't remember for sure been too long i gotta try to start putting these out a little bit quicker just things start getting uh, carried away by the time i get home get to, to unwrapping them scanning them in cleaning off anything i don't want in there like the little security tags and stuff i i pull that stuff out i don't i don't want them in there uh but the cast on this is ed asner tim curry matthew lillard and george takai and that is Axel, the biggest little hero. I mean, it's a fantastic cast, but it was so painful to watch. I mean, that was the reason I popped this in so quick, is just because it was a, the cast was so good. Uh, our center, inner, uh, the, Ace, Ace Entertainment. I've seen that before, but I don't uh, know. But this, that was not, not fun to watch. Uh, another one of the, uh, let's see, Never Foreseen Missions. Nickelodeon, The Penguins of Madagascar. Operation DVD Premiere. Can't go wrong with the penguins. They're always fun to watch. Let's recall if they had anything on these. Nope. Just gray. The last anime. This this was a real surprise to find. This and this was still sealed. This is a four movie collection. Peanuts. You have Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, Snoopy Come Home. A Boy Named Charlie Brown and Bon Voyage Charlie Brown and Don't Come Back. So, this is a good steal for a buck. Four brand new 
cartoons. And every one of them came on their own disc. Oh. Pop out of the slot there. That's even better when they're all on their own disc, but those stay together because they're the same thing. Now I've got the uh, television uh, items here. Uh, the complete fourth season of Breaking Bad. So now I have uh, two different seasons. I don't remember what the, the other season is I have on uh, Blu-ray. Now this one I found was the only title I picked up at this one thrift store, which I don't go to very often because they weeded out their bin. Uh, the bin that they have is like uh, a couple of the others. They're about the size of a pallet, a huge plastic bin. They used, what did they have? Uh, I think they had like two or four in there before, and they're down to like one or two, and it's like not even stacked very high. Yeah, there's two, two bins in there now. But they're not very stacked. There's barely anything in the bins. I walked in, and this was sitting right on top. And I just snatched it, checked all the discs, and they were in great shape. And this is uh, an eight-disc set. Science Fiction Theater, the complete series. I was blown away to find this in there and pay a buck. Because I have some thrift stores I pay a buck and some of them I pay $2 for DVDs. And then if they're TV series, if they, if they recall. Actually, I think I paid 99 cents because I found a penny when I went outside or something. But uh, this was nice. I uh, started watching it. Very interesting. Old uh, black and white sci-fi. Uh, first time on DVD, the complete series collection of sci-fi theater is an entertaining look back and forward to the way science shapes our views of the world's potential. Uh, da -da. Let's see. Color and black and white, not rated, approximately 2,038 minutes, full screen, for with the old broadcast Ratio, Dolby Mono, uh, was 1955 to 1957. So we got a good, uh, that was, that was a gold mine gem find for me. I really was happy with that. Uh, this one I just recently found. Uh, when I was looking at it, I, was, I thought maybe it wasn't the proper uh, discs in here. Because it is a PBS Warwick, the complete series. Get the slip. It's a three disc collection. Because when I'm looking at it, the first disc says page eight, the second one says Turks and Caicos, and the third one is Salting the Battlefield. So I wasn't really sure. If those are the proper discs, because that's normally not how I see uh, television shows. But right on the back, it's got them all listed. So I guess they, uh, believing it's a British television show, since their TV episodes are like an hour and a half long compared to uh, America running 20, 30 minutes to an hour for theirs. Very uh, interested in watching this. Uh, let's see who is uh, Bill Knighty, uh, Helen Bonham Carter, Ralph Phineas, Michael Gambon, Felicity Jones, Winona Ryder, Christopher Walken, Rachel Weiss, Oliver Williams. He's got a good cast. I've been seeing him so much, but my wife keeps re watching Shaun of the Dead. They're taking that off HBO Max. In the next couple of days, so she'll have to actually get the disc out and put it in to watch. 
Conviction, the complete series from the creator of Law and Order. So I, I really don't mind picking these up. These, these are always kind of uh, good when it's a complete series that I haven't even checked out that I can have it all and complete. Not having to worry about looking for uh, some more titles. There's a three disc set. Who doesn't like Law and Order? It's always good to watch. I have uh, Rick and Morty season two. Uh, been really wanting to watch uh, more of this. I have started and I've watched a couple episodes. Something interesting. Then I, uh, what was this? What was this night? I can't even remember. Well, let's see. Uh, this is a DVD Blu ray uh, flip disc, and that is the complete first season of Louie. I don't know if they ever put any more of these uh, Louis CKs out, but uh, they how to what size what red, blue. Uh, the Blu ray version is the red ring. Disc one, disc two. Well, oh no, with the red or black up is D, uh, Blu-ray DVDs on the other side, and disc one is red and disc two is black. That was just kind of interesting. Uh, contains all thirteen season one episodes. Another one of those little uh, bonus ones here. This is Everybody Loves Raymond, the series finale, plus the original pilot. So I have uh, the very first and very last episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. So That's kind of cool. Jump to the beginning and the very end. Uh, this was a good find here. Uh, the Adams Family Complete First Volume. Three disc set. Love these classics. I have uh, the Complete First Season of Arrow. Which I hadn't been buying any of these, so... Uh, now I figure I'll start tracking them down. This one here, I have uh, I have one coming in a trade, and I wasn't sure if it was the one that I had or not. And luckily for me, it is not. I have season two coming, and this is a complete first season of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I still need to finish watching these. Uh, only actually have gone through the first couple of seasons of the show. But uh, enjoy that quite a bit. And uh, I got one stack left. So this one I was very disappointed in not having the disc in it. And uh, that is the Disney Digital 3D powered Blu-ray 3D showcase disc. So I took the package anyway and paid for it. Just so I can see uh, what was on it. So I was very disappointed that there was no disc. But I think the top two are the most important things to uh, kind of get. Timon and Pumbaa's 3D Showcase, uh, Working for Peanuts with Donald Duck. Then uh, those are the two shorts. Then trailers, Disney's Christmas Carol, Alice in Wonderland, Toy Story 3, 
and then clips of Disney's A Christmas Carol, G-Force, and Nightmare Before Christmas. And the last, uh, not the last one, uh, the next one I have here uh, is, uh, which I had found before on um, a Digibook, uh, Target, I think it was the Target exclusive Digibooks for these. Uh, is, yeah, this, this next stack of stuff is uh, all Disney. And that is the Disney Secret of the Wings. Uh, it only had the Blu-ray in it, so the DVD was actually missing. But I, a little different version it says bonus adventure which is a 22 minute bonus adventure pixie hollow games then i have in a slim case because this is obviously from a set and that because this is volume two is ducktales so i better have some than none This one I found brand new, still sealed, so now I uh, use it so I could get the digital code. Because uh, I do have the original uh, first release of this on DVD, and that is Mary Poppins 50th Anniversary Edition. Another one I still need to uh, eventually uh, get the Blu-rays. To the special edition of Alice in Wonderland, special unanniversary edition. And gray. We have the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. artwork on the disc these are some of the reasons I like getting the, uh, the early uh, DVDs because they have artwork return to snowy river I haven't seen this one around uh, in a while I know I've heard of the title I've just never watched it before so I was glad to grab that Classic short films, Mickey and the Beanstalk. Uh, also, The Brave Little Tailor, Gulliver Mickey, Through the Mirror, and Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip. Gray, gray, uh, Snowy River. Snowy River at least had artwork. Disney Princess, Enchanted Tales, Follow Your Dreams. This one still has slip on it as well. Nice little artwork. Another one from the park itself, uh, from Epcot, Where Dreams Come True. Gotta buy these whenever I find this stuff out. Because it was listed for 20. I'd rather pay a dollar. Or two dollars, whichever. Depends on what thrift stores I'm hitting. College road trip. Martin Lawrence, Raven Simone, and I see Donnie Osmond in there too. Nice. Uh, this, yeah, he's got the nice artwork on the disc. Uh, Platinum Edition, Beauty and the Beast Special Edition to Descent. Velcro window. This should also, yeah. Nice artwork on the disc.
Sky High, another superhero -y, uh, one. I haven't seen this one in quite a while. I'll be getting this one soon. Blu ray. Look at that nice artwork. And I have a bonus disc here. This was still new. And that is Walmart exclusive bonus DVD disc, Journey to Neverland, with Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and her friends. Approximately 80 minutes, so uh, it's a pretty healthy chunk of uh, bonus material. Uh, exclusive features, making of the second star to the right, music video with T-Squad, uh, feature activity stories, various profile activities, which fairy are you most like, Tinkerbell's world fairy profiles, four fairies, storybooks, pirate treasure hunt game, read along, Neverland's new hero. Uh, and then gray. Witches, Bewitched Edition, uh, Disney Channel stuff. Keep finding quite a bit of different Disney Channel titles. Another Disney Channel is Hannah Montana, Life What You Make It. I mean, I did enjoy watching Hannah Montana when I did watch it. When it was on. Did anything on there? Yeah. Let's do that nice. I have uh, Air Bud World Pup. Down to the wire. Air Buddies. And the final one here, Animated Adventures and Exciting Lands. It's a Small World of Fun, Volume 3. It's always when I find these, like, really more unusual looking uh, releases that I'm really hoping that the disc is in good shape. I found a few and the discs were just destroyed and I was so disappointed because they had uh, a slips on them and everything else. Nice artwork on the disc. That was everything in the thrift store. So we're running about a hundred, uh, an hour and 10, quite a bit of length. I knew this one would. I've got a, one, two, three. I think I have like three more videos to, to do, but they're going to be a lot smaller in time because I'm going to break them up a little different. Uh, it's going to be like Goodwill, uh, Flea Market, and, uh, Salvation Army, that. And then I'll do like a Hamilton book uh, with the, the brick and mortar stuff, Target, Walmart, whatever. And then another one I'll do for. Uh, uh, big lots and my Disney stuff. So there'll be like three little breakdowns. I think I only have three. And then once I get the rest, uh, I got three packages I should be getting from some trades for the Dollar Tree stuff. And then I'll do another Dollar Tree one after that. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thanks for uh, people who are still sticking around. Uh, I don't seem to talk all the time while I'm doing show and stuff, but uh, I'm just trying to figure stuff out and just trying to show. But uh, uh, thanks again and uh, good luck.